Hey guys, we are almost close to Valentine's Day and for all of you bath bomb lovers out there, I have a great awesome gift idea that you can do for Valentine's Day or whenever you feel like it really. So they are these adorable message in a bottle bath bombs. These vials are little glass bottles you can get from the dollar store. They're six for a dollar so that's quite cheap. And you can totally store anything that you want inside. I put a photo of me and my boyfriend um, just because I want to see us floating in the bath together. No, but you can put notes or anything that you want. These ones I got from, the, from Michaels. Um, there's three of them and they were like five dollars. And you can write little cute notes in them uh, for your friends, for your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. And um, they can open it up after their bath or during their bath. It's just that surprise element, you know, they're not expecting something and then all of a sudden this little bottle comes up in their bath and then there's a cute note inside. So it's really adorable and actually quite cute. As far as the recipe for the bath bomb, if you've been to my channel, it is nothing you haven't seen before because I use the same recipe for all my bath bombs. It makes about three whole bath bombs. It totally depends on the mold that you are using. But just some important points on how to make the perfect bath bomb. Be sure not to put too much liquid or water in them. So your liquid can contain, you know, essential oils or even like liquid butters. But make sure that you don't put too much or else everything will react and then your bath bomb will be too heavy or it's already going to react while you mold it. So that's um, something to definitely watch out for. Another popular bath bomb question that I have is will food color or food dye stay in your tub it's never stained mine and I never put an excessive amount so only if you do put an excessive amount maybe it will stain your tub however um, you know like this color literally took five or six drops and it's such a beautiful pink color already so once you made the powder for your bath bombs you're gonna want to bury your bottle or your vials in there very carefully and I am going to take out only one side of the mold usually I take out both and I let it dry but this time because you have something heavy such as the bottle or the vial um, you know you may be prone to having it break more while it dries so I'm gonna leave it on one side of the mold so here's the demo and the result after it's done and that's after one day of drying the bath bomb and there's so many heart molds out there now now that it's actually Valentine's Day you can go to the dollar store and buy a bunch so hope you enjoy this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one happy Valentine's Day